Welcome to Two Mad Means Podcast, Season 3. I'm excited. Uh, finally, we have migrated from audio to video, and this is our first episode on YouTube. And I'm excited to have Fit Anderson with me, because uh, she has been part of the podcast for years now. Yeah. Uh, she listens to this podcast, she comes on this podcast. And today, we are here to discuss a potent issue. But this issue has been worrying a lot of my friends. When they see my belly, they go like, ooh, Charlie, your, your belly is slim. But they don't know me, I'm slim. Naturally, I'm slim, so me, I, can't, I can't go belly fat. So I brought a fitness instructor, Fit, to help us know the safest way to get rid of belly fat. Before we start, kindly subscribe to this channel. Okay, subscribe, please. Subscribe. Then click on the notification bell. Okay, click on it. So every time that we upload a video, you have an inspiration on your gadget to watch this beautiful podcast show. Faith, welcome. Thank you. I'm happy. You're the first guest on season three. Yeah. Uh, how have you been? Good, good. So my, I'm good. I'm great. I'm so excited to have you here. Okay. I've been I've been waiting for today. So my friends, we have money. Mm. Today I've been eating a lot. <laughs> and we have big stomachs too. And they are young guys too, young dudes with big stomach, and they have been complaining. So I made a promise to them that, okay, the first episode of this podcast, we are going to discuss something on health. Okay. And precisely getting rid, safest way to get rid of stomach fat. So, uh, first question. So mm-hmm. what is belly fat? Okay, so our bodies, like, our bodies store fat in different areas, but mm-hmm. for most people, mm-hmm. It's stored in your abdominal area. So belly fat is actually called visceral fat. Okay. And when you have a poor belly, it means that you have enough visceral fat inside your abdomen and on the surface of your abdomen. Okay. So that's what causes your belly to like protrude. Oh, okay. Because everybody has some amount of visceral fat inside you to mm-hmm. keep you going. Mm-hmm. But then excess of it will have your tummy protruding unless um it's not like a bloat or something. But then if it's a bloat it means it will go back. Mm-hmm. But if it's just fat, then yes, that's what you call belly fat. And also um, your belly or let me say the core your core mm-hmm. your core is what normally people say in my tummy but it actually includes your back oh okay so it can spread from um it encompasses this whole area okay yes so that's why i see some people having back rolls and all <laughs> that yeah so all that is part of belly fat so it means the fat can't go anywhere it's all centered around yes around out. here because this is like the main area where all the digestion mm, everything okay goes. so so how do we get rid of the lower abs fat lower belly fat okay to get rid of fat in any part of your body you need to eat well and exercise i know people will be tired of hearing eat well and eat exercise well, yeah. but it's like the formula, you know, when you are solving a math problem, you are given a formula, you can't do anything about the formula mm-hmm. because that is a formula. You yeah. see? So the formula is eat well and exercise. So like to get rid of belly fat in general, you need to pay attention to your diet. Okay. You can't be eating anyhow and expect to have like a flat tummy. And also you can't, you can't have um, a situation where you don't exercise at all mm-hmm. and expect to have a, um, a flat tummy. But for your lower belly fat especially, if you want to lose that, then you have to like cut out a lot of things from your diet and that majorly includes sugar. Okay. Sugar and fat because our body stores sugar also um, in a way that resembles fat. Okay. So when you are dumping too much sugar in your body, it all goes down there and then you have this like a kangaroo pouch <laughs> at the lower side of your belly so if you want to get rid of lower belly fat um unhealthy sugars that come in processed foods if someone wants to like experiment just cut out sugar um soda processed foods cut yeah. it out for a week and drink water 
person would notice that oh, okay there's actually a small change okay so that small change just add exercise to it and then you have a fat family let, let, let me let me chip in this question before we go to the next mm-hmm. question is it expensive living a healthy life because most guys i talk to when they hear uh you have to live a certain way to be healthy they feel oof it to be expensive it's not so when we go out um at my favorite restaurant a plate of fries and chicken is like 24 cds mm-hmm. 24 25. so when you go to the market 24 cds for cooking for one adult like myself I can get tomatoes and everything I need, carrots, green pepper, everything I need to get me a healthy stew and accompany it with rice or something. Or I can still eat that same potatoes, but because this time I'm in charge and I'm paying attention to it, I can manage that 25 CDs and get some vegetables on the side so that the meal does not become just fries and chicken and then so no it's not expensive because you can spend the same amount you spend eating out and just spend that on buying food stuff for yourself and you see that it's actually not it's very cheap okay actually because when you don't pay attention to what you eat or your lifestyle in general you are going to be spending much more on drugs Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that is way more expensive Expensive. so i'd rather um, invest because I, I won't call it an investment because it's an intentional thing you're doing. Yeah. So I want to invest in my in my nutrition so that I do not spend more money on medicine, doctors yeah, and true. stuff like that. So, so it's not. Aside from the diet, how much training does one need weekly to to help uh, get rid of this belly fat? Okay. So we are advised to exercise at least 30 minutes a day, three times a week. Okay. I think that's the standard. 30 minutes a day. Three times a week. Three times a week. So um, at the beginning of this year, I think I did something. I just went online and I googled how many hours do we have in a week. And I think it was 168, if I'm right, 168 or 138. So if we are having, let's say, 160 hours in a week, can't I just spend two hours to exercise? So looking at that, two hours to exercise in a week, I'm not working out two hours in the whole day. I'm breaking down that two hours into like 30 minutes, four times a week. Mm-hmm. If you add all that up, you get like two hours mm-hmm. because 30, 30, 30, 30, that's two hours. Mm-hmm. So you have 160 hours a week mm-hmm. and you are given only two, two to yeah. exercise. If you look at it that way, it's not a lot. It's not a see? lot, yeah. So now to exercise to lose your belly fat. Mm-hmm. The thing is this. You can't exercise and say, okay, I'm going to lose fat only in my belly. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, the fat is deposited everywhere, but it's mainly stored at this side of your your body. Some people store fat in their glutes. Mm -hmm. And for a lady, that might be a plus because you actually want it there. Some people store fat in their arms, but most people store it in their belly, um, in their belly area. So if you want to lose belly fat, you you might want to like incorporate um stomach exercises into your general exercise because you can't just target one part of your body and say that's what surgery does that's why we have liposuction Mm -hmm. because that's where you can actually go to the doctor and say okay i want the fat in my arm to be removed okay exercise will not do that for you it works the whole body it works your whole body yes Mm -hmm. because it's our bodies are like one big machine. Mm-hmm. When you pour oil into a machine, it, it oils all the parts. Yeah, true. Or even if it goes into one part of the machine, it makes the whole machine work. Yeah. So the exercise you are doing to your body, maybe you might think you are exercising only your stomach by doing crunches. And most people even say they don't see results with the crunches mm-hmm. because it's mainly because you cannot just target your stomach and mm-hmm. then lose. And everybody is different we have different types of bodies Mm -hmm. your bone structure is different from mine so there are lots of factors that would determine what is the right exercise for this person Mm -hmm. to actually lose his or her belly fat so for somebody crunches will work but for another person maybe it's a plank that would work for the person Mm -hmm. so there are lots of factors to consider when you want to like work out on your tummy sure 
I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Kindly subscribe. Yeah, you have to subscribe. Subscribe, oh, subscribe, subscribe. So let's go for a short break. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. So we're still with Fit mm -hmm. Anderson, fitness instructor, one of the best in the system. You can't go wrong with Fit. <laughs> Yeah, anything you want with your body, if any any form of exercise, she's there. I got you. Yeah, she got you. So we're still talking about the safest way to get rid of belly fat. Our next question, uh, what are some of the vegetables you need to put in your drinks to reduce belly fat? Okay, in your drinks. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to incorporate vegetables in your drinks, then maybe you might want to invest in a small juice. So that's, that's, that would be like the best way to extract mm -hmm. the most out of vegetables. Okay. But um, not only vegetables, but fruit and vegetables. So you can do like smoothies mm -hmm. and um, green juices and stuff like okay. that. But let's say you're having... Um, Sobolo or something. Okay. You can add something like ginger to it because we know very well that mm -hmm. ginger is something that burns fat. Yeah. So ginger, garlic, um, what do they call this in, in cloves? Cloves, yeah. Yes. At least those three we know are main sources and uh, main vegetables. Are they vegetables or spices? They're spices. And they yeah. burn they burn fat. But then the thing with vegetables in general is that they carry a lot of water and fiber. Okay. So vegetables are something that you need in your diet generally every day you, you shouldn't go a day without eating vegetables you know because they provide you the fiber that you need to be full and it's a healthy source of protein and carbohydrates you get it so um when you're eating your meal Everybody is advised to eat a, ba a balanced diet. Yeah. So you make sure that at least you have a side serving of uh, maybe sauteed vegetables. Um, but if we are talking about drinks, you can do juices by yourself. Okay. Um, it doesn't always have to be a green juice. I mean, there are a lot of stuff out there. We have beetroot, which is very, very nutritious and good for the body. There's watermelons and cucumbers. Okay. So maybe do like a trial and error thing. What works for me? What doesn't work for me? Because mm -hmm. I actually have a friend who doesn't eat fruits and I find him to be very unique because how on earth yeah, he's eat. allergic. Wow. To fruits. to fruits. So for someone like him, vegetables would be the best way to go. So carrots, juice. You can do like um, a spinach smoothie for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Add maybe some ginger and um, an apple to make it exciting. It doesn't have to be boring. You get it. Just mm -hmm. spice up. There are lots of recipes online that you can easily go to and then find a way. If if you are someone who finds it hard to eat the vegetables in your food, mm -hmm. then yes make juices out of them and drink. drink them yeah so when you are trying to get rid of fat in general is it advisable to eat meat oh yes it's advisable because we get our that's like one of the biggest sources of protein mm -hmm. but there is also plant-based protein like even me right now i'm actually transitioning mm -hmm. because meat is like one of the biggest producer of mucus in the body okay. so but it's a personal choice um it's advisable to eat meat yes of course but your choice of meat is what is going to hinder or also help you to burn the fat okay you get it you, if we are going for meat we want to look at lean meats if we are going to eat chicken okay you see like us the chicken also stores fat in different parts of his body. Mm -hmm. So, did I just say his body? <laughs> Those gender people, please don't come <laughs> for me. <laughs> so, the chicken stores fat in different areas of its body. Okay. So, in an area like the chicken breast, they found out that that is one of the places where you can find the least amount of fat in the chicken. Okay. So, why don't you go for that part? Okay. Um, the chicken thigh, fine, there's some fat in there, but take take off the skin. Mm -hmm. Chickens store most of their fat in their skin. Okay. In the skin. So you you might want to be taking off the skin, but then people would use the excuse that it's nice, that's the tasting mm -hmm. part. But the thing is this, are you eating for your tongue or you're eating for your 
inside yeah. you know so it's, it's just like a lifestyle change and um, you can't always and also try out new, if you are someone who loves meat don't always eat chicken mm -hmm. try out new stuff there's yeah. lamb there's goats like find new ways to and also one thing is that new, different ways of cooking are you you're always trying your meats it doesn't make sense and you want to lose weight or you want to lose fat mm -hmm. then why don't you like bake roast grill mm -hmm. you know yeah. boil it yeah. and play around with spices mm -hmm. to make everything like taste nicer for you mm -hmm. so, yeah so meat is of course you don't have to do away with meat especially if you are not someone who knows how to make the best use of your vegetables and get protein from there mm -hmm. then you might want to pay attention to the kind of meat you're eating since women store fat in different parts of their bodies why is it tough for them to get rid of belly fat oh for women it's really hard for let me use myself as an example okay. um as someone who has gone through pregnancy right what i've noticed with pregnancy for instance your lower um your pelvic area has stretched like this so now if you are not eating properly you've actually opened up your body mm -hmm. you've given like if your stomach is like this or your abdominal area is this size pregnancy has enlarged it like this and you are now not eating well so you are giving your body a bigger container to store fat okay okay so now after pregnancy your belly will be big but then your lifestyle would determine whether it would be bigger or it would get smaller. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that affects women and, and how we lose our fat, belly fat pregnancy. But also our hormones, our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, for example, with this pandemic like this, maybe your daily activities has been reduced to like half. You don't move around like you are used to. And for a woman, if you are going to menstruate, so it means for like a week in the month, your body, your hormones are going to be all over the place. Mm -hmm. Women experience bloating during menstruation. There are lots of factors. So, so for a woman, you really have to first um, study your body. Okay. If you are a woman who hasn't yet has um, had a child, study your, your menstrual cycle, see how your body responds to it. I have noticed I go through some bloating during my monthly cycle. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? And so during that time, if you see me and I tell you I'm a personal trainer, you might think I'm lying oh, okay. because my belly looks a, a certain kind of way. But um, for women, it's a whole lot of hormonal issues. Mm -hmm. You get it. Um, so. Did the question have a, a second part? Uh, the second part would be the back pain. People with back pain. How no, do like say? you. The question you said. How women, women store their belly fat? Yeah, the women have uh, their body parts can store fats in different places. Mm -hmm. So how can they work on their belly fat? Yes. So for a woman um, who wants to work on her belly fat, she might want to like pay attention to like her daily choices. Are you getting enough sleep? Okay. Um, are you drinking enough water? Sometimes you can sit at your office the whole day because of the work you're doing. Mm -hmm. You might be thirsty, but just reaching out for a glass of water or something. Um, so for a woman, and women are prone, as, again, menstruation. When you are menstruating, what are you craving for? Mm -hmm. Because the fact that you are menstruating and you eat like one whole it, it will surprise you to know that even though women are menstruating, that's when we eat a lot of sugar. Oh, so okay. the sugar you are eating in this three or five day period of your menstrual cycle, know that it won't go away once the cycle ends. Mm -hmm. It would actually, it's, let me say, it would wait for your blood to go and then now start to have an effect on you. So like, what are you eating during this short period, mm -hmm. during this one week? Like, are you sleeping properly and there's a lot of reasons why a woman cannot lose belly fat. So women, please pay attention pay to attention. Your, your mental health and all those things, your menstrual cycle and all those things, because mm -hmm. they affect. Sometimes it's really not you, your belly fat that doesn't want to go. It's, you are thinking too much because your body responds to yeah, stress. Yeah, true. My mom, my mom was the kind of person who would gain weight when she's stressed. And someone somewhere would say that, oh. No, I don't know. It's not like, yeah, it's not that. like that. You get it. So, so if you have a back pain, mm -hmm. what is the best approach to strengthen your abs and help 
lumbar spine. Okay, so if you're having back pain, if it's chronic, mm -hmm. please go and see what do they call them? A chiropractor. Okay. They also take care of the spine. Mm -hmm. Go and see a specialist. But if you're someone who deals with back pain, you might want to look at your again your lifestyle or how do you sit your posture when you sit the things that causes the back pain but um when it comes to exercise when people think of stomach exercise everyone mind goes to crunches basically lying on your back and doing different things but you can actually exercise for 20 minutes exercise your tummy for 20 minutes whilst you are standing Mm. I have clients who tell me that, oh, I, my knees, I can't be bending, I don't jump. Mm -hmm. So for such a person, I have to look for standing ab exercises. So for someone who is listening or watching, if you can go on YouTube, just type standing ab exercises, okay. you'll find them out. Now, one secret to losing belly fat or exercising on your abs and actually um, seeing results, from, because we see people doing like 100 crunches a day and there's no difference, it's because your core muscle right mm -hmm. is not engaged whilst you are doing the exercise okay. so if you're exercising on your belly one thing is this you need to um have a tight core okay. so normally you hear trainers say keep your core tight keep your core tight basically they're trying to say squeeze in your suck it in but not suck it into the point where you can't breathe because mm. you need to breathe whilst you're yeah. exercising right but keeping a tight core whilst you're exercising engaging the muscle is what will cause the retraction to go on for the fat to actually like like let me say be grinded mm -hmm. if you get that picture yeah. in your mind yeah. so um you can there are lots of exercises you can do standing mm -hmm. and there are lots of ab exercises you can do while you're sitting mm -hmm. that don't require you lying on your back because the truth is this in exercise form is very important if your form is wrong you are probably hurting a certain muscle that wouldn't like affect you during the exercise but once you're done and then maybe you try to sit or something you realize that i ah, know i was exercising my tummy or i was working on my stomach but right now my knee i'm feeling yeah, pain some it's probably because your form was wrong mm -hmm. you get and mm -hmm. most tummy stomach exercise they require like moving maybe the upper part of your body and you are not paying attention to the how your neck is is whilst you are doing especially when you are doing a crunch mm -hmm. you are doing this is the movement right mm -hmm. but you are involving your neck and then your upper shoulders yeah. so is there a way is there a correct way there's always a correct way to doing something mm -hmm. so you need to find out am i doing this the correct way because if not you are worsening your back pain mm -hmm. or you are destroying something else totally yeah so it's always right to, right now we have the internet just go online and find how to fix your form and all that okay please subscribe <laughs> a lot of knowledge here. She's sharing a lot of knowledge here. Can you subscribe? Uh, we'll be back after this short break. Welcome back. This is Two Madden's podcast. Uh, interesting topic. How to, the safest way to lose belly fat. Faith. So our next question. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody wants to recover. You are now in the process of losing belly fat and all that. And you don't want to take in meat or any dairy product. How do you do it? What do you eat? Okay, so... The best thing to do is to go for plant-based mm -hmm. stuff. So, in, um, after working out, you don't you don't know what to eat, or you don't want to jump straight into your meal, because maybe you're conscious of the fat in there. Mm -hmm. Just go for a smoothie. Okay. For me personally, when I finish working, out, I like to take a post-workout smoothie because it would help your muscles to like relax. Okay. And. You know, while you're exercising, you're burning fats, but actually after exercising, between a one hour and two hour window, your body is actually still in the process of burning fat. So mm -hmm. what you eat within that two hour window also will determine if you wasted 20 minutes exercising or it's actually going to benefit you. Yeah. So you can take, again, a plant-based smoothie or just fruits without milk so if you are making a smoothie and you don't have milk as your liquid mm -hmm. you can use coconut water okay to blend your your fruits or your vegetables or of course you can have a meal but um just make sure you are sticking to like portion portion control is very important mm -hmm. 
the fact that you just finished exercises as in you jump straight into like three balls of bamboo or yeah. something like yeah. so pay attention to your portions when you're ex and make sure that you have a little bit of everything okay so let me just check this and sometimes people use a certain rule called the 30 50 20 where we have like 30 percent healthy fat 50 percent protein and then um 20 percent carbohydrates so yeah are carbs good for the body of course your body needs carbohydrates but we have because of um our quick fix kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. when you go on the market there's a lot of um, processed foods that are full of unhealthy and refined carbohydrates mm -hmm. and ref carbohydrates will be processed mainly as sugar to your body when it's processed and digested mm -hmm. so if you are eating a lot of unhealthy carbohydrates then that means that you are going to have too much sugar inside you which your body will now burn as fat and then you gain weight yeah. so carbs are good for your body but what is your source of carbohydrates and how healthy is it okay yeah. before we go your closing remarks and if somebody wants to get in touch with you Okay. For you to be their personal trainer, can you give us your contact or your social media okay. handles? So my closing remarks is this. For anybody who... Let me just give you guys a formula, okay? okay. Um, your body stores energy as what you... I'm sure you've heard of the word calories. Mm -hmm. So make sure that to have a healthy lifestyle, don't eat more calories than you are burning. So if you are someone who is not exercising, it means that in your daily activity, because we burn calories even when we are sleeping. Yeah. So if you are eating more than your body is burning, know that you are going to gain weight. And if you are um, eating less calories than you are burning, then you are killing yourself. You are yeah. going to lose the small weight that you already have. So um, pay attention to what you eat try to exercise at least 20 minutes a day trust me 20 minutes goes by very fast yeah and unless you're a trainer or you're an athlete you don't need to do more than 30 minutes of exercise mm -hmm. if you get it um so yeah and it's it's food and exercise so you can't do one and leave the other one and also i'm on instagram as the fit anderson mm -hmm. so t-h-e-f-i-t for fit and anderson that's so thanks for coming on this show thank you uh, i'm going to relay this information to my friends with the big stomach <laughs> <laughs> to work on your tummy and i hope you'll be back again within the course of the year god bless you for coming on the show i always enjoy your information so this is to my Beans podcast a new week a new episode that's a tagline I am on video on YouTube, kindly subscribe. Yes. But most importantly, click on the notification bell. So anytime that we upload a beautiful uh, segment like this, like the one I had it fit, you get a notification on the gadget. So same time next week, a new video will be out. Stay blessed. Bye.